outside, huge Tibetan mastiffs will protect the flocks through the long night. As soon as the sun vanishes behind the mountains, the temperature falls fast towards freezing point, and the nomads retire to the warmth of their tents. The center section of the tent over the hearth forms a two-foot-wide skylight and smoke vent. the safety of the encampment, an icy moon rises over the restless world of the wolf. The nomads have spent six weeks in the valley, and the pastures are becoming overgrazed. So Minya asks his daughter Dolma to take the flocks to a nearby valley. But a pack of Tibetan wild dogs have also entered that valley. There are three dogs in this hunting group, and they pose a considerable threat to both sheep and goats. They are very rare, and few Changpa have ever seen one. Just how many roam the plateau isn't yet known. The dogs look like a cross between a fox and a wolf. Thick fur, adapted to the fiercely cold weather, and large paws for scaling the rocks in pursuit of their main prey, the wild blue sheep. This group, however, spots the threat and keeps moving slowly higher up the hillside. The going finally gets too steep and the dogs have to give up. There are reports of packs deliberately chasing their prey towards and over favorite cliffs. Below, though, is easier prey. While the herdsmen brewed their butter tea, three goats have strayed from the flock. <coughs> the dogs quickly close in. Unable to escape, the goat succumbs to the bites of the dogs. The dogs eat quickly. The herdsmen are too close for comfort. Any moment could bring discovery and the loss of their kill. The hunt is over, and the mother returns to her den. Pups are nursed for about eight weeks, but they won't join the others in the hunt until they're seven months old. Having adapted in isolation to life in the mountains, these Ladakhi wild dogs may actually be a new subspecies. In a more remote valley, the wolves have been raising a family of five cubs. They are now eight weeks old and at their most vulnerable. 